Director General, Your Excellencies, Distinguished Delegates, good morning. It is a great pleasure for me to be part of the high-level opening of this global forum, even though unfortunately I cannot be with you in person today. I would like to thank the International Labour Organization for the opportunity to address you through this video message. The theme of today's event, Boosting Skills for a Greener Economy, could hardly be more topical, as young people are calling for action to reach the Paris Agreement goals to save our planet, and importantly, 85% of Europeans consider this as a chance to create economic growth and jobs. But what does the transition to a greener economy imply for occupations and people's skills? As you may know, SEDEFOP's aim is precisely to help devise and implement policies that bridge education and training and work. With our research and analysis, we support the European Commission, member states and social partners in their work to ensure that young people and adults can acquire the skills they need for jobs and life, and that empower them to adapt to change and to innovate. To explore the implications of the greening of the economy for jobs and skills, SEDEFOP joined forces with the ILO already in 2010, at a time when the EU had set ambitious targets to tackle climate change and shift to a greener economy. We carried out national studies to understand which skills the shift to a greener economy requires and to identify effective response strategies. At SEDEFOP, we focused on six EU countries. Recently, we repeated this joint exercise to understand how countries' responses have developed since the days of the economic slump. New green occupations have emerged and others will surface, but it is also the greening of many existing jobs that requires curriculum updates and even new qualifications across education and training levels. What we have seen very clearly is the need for collaboration and partnerships between governments, social partners and training providers to anticipate which green skills are required in the specific context to design effective responses and to upskill and reskill people effectively. From the EU perspective, this update was really timely. The European Commission has adopted a long-term strategic vision for a prosperous, modern, competitive and climate-neutral economy by 2050. It highlights the effects of this transition on industries, jobs and skills. But also, this course on future education and training policy is ongoing. I'm really pleased that this global forum, which reflects ILO's and SADEFOP's close collaboration in this field, will look at our findings in a wider perspective and also consider the social dimension of this transition. I'm pleased that we have been asked to contribute to this event and I'm confident that your discussions will inspire further progress and collaboration and help promote a sustainable transition to a greener economy which reaps benefits for all citizens. I would like to seize this opportunity to congratulate ILO on its centenary and close by wishing you a very successful event.